So now it's time for Linux in the Real World 2015 edition. So this right here is not very good of a computer like compared to the newest stuff, that is. It's an Athlon 2X2 245 with 4 gigs of RAM and an NVIDIA 9500 GT. In fact, I've even got the side off. So you can see here, this is just the average uh, work PC, I'm guessing, because specs in it are are pretty acceptable. They're good for some basic games like uh, Valve Source Engine games, Postal 2, Retro Indie games, that stuff. And right here, this is, um, it's open right here, and look, it's all ready to go. It's not take very long to load up. It's got Ice Weasel, and it also has Steam and Skype, however, you might want to be wary of those because they are proprietary software. However, Firefox is open source, and this is Ice Weasel, which is a Debian version of Firefox. And I can search for anything on here, such as uh, uh, Debian. So, um, I've got Debian up here. And it's a fast computer with Debian installed. And of course, I also have the proprietary Win NVIDIA drivers here. Sadly, you shouldn't use NVIDIA GPUs for this reason because their drivers are proprietary and they do not help the people making open source drivers. But as you can see here, it shows up here and works fine for the most part. Besides that, and it also has Steam, Skype, all that stuff here. And let's go to a Sys Utilities. I'm just going to open up the first terminal op I see here. Go HTOP. Look at how much RAM it's using. Not a lot. Only 366 megabytes out of 4 gigs. And it's not even touching the swap file or virtual memory as it's called on Windows. And as you can see here, I mean, look, I'm even going to open up a uh, Office program. Going to open up, uh, yeah, it's all fast here. So let's go to log out. Let's turn off the computer. This is how it works in the real world in 2015. Boom. It's off. No launch shutdown process, no installing Windows updates, and if you want to install updates, you literally just have to go into apt-get and, or a package manager, GUI, and then, boom, it's updated, no need to reboot even. So let's turn the computer back on. Let's see how fast this thing boots. Tab. AMD Athlon 2X2-245, DDR2-800. Maybe I could swap the CPU out with a better CPU. Now, usually it doesn't do escape unless you hit tab. But I could, if I wanted to, and add more money, and the person who was getting this computer paid more money, I could probably put in maybe a uh, um, Hexacore AMD or Quacore Phenom original, not Phenom 2. So looky here, it's booting up. And here's something interesting about Linux. You notice how the hard drive light's on. It's booting. Just about done. Looky here. Hard drive light's still on because it's loading up the login manager. Login manager's open, boom, hard drive light goes off. Because it's not loading a bunch of crap in the background like Windows is when you use it. And there, here I am at the login screen. It's not loading up a million services in the background trying to make it seem like it's faster than it is like Windows likes to do. I mean, you know how Windows 8 manages to boost its hard, like, boot up time so much? Just look at the hard drive light. It's just faking it. It's an illusion. Speaking of that, I've actually got an HP Elite book, which I'm also going to be putting uh, Linux on. Let me just pop it open here. 
HP Elite Book 2760p. Might need a new keyboard though because it's it's a little filthy and stuff, but Oh the battery's low. Cause I haven't used this in a while, because I'm waiting for the hard drive to come in because I don't have a hard drive yet, but it even has a think light up here. Which you can't use because the battery's dead in here, but it's got an i7, it's got a 3G modem in it, so I can connect remotely to the internet anywhere if I get a cheap data plan for it. So, and it even has a pen touchscreen and a multi-touch screen, and right below this, I've got my X60 with Libre Boot on it, which is pretty much Core Boot. And it's got Gen 2 on it as well. And it's really fast. I mean, it's only Core Duo, and that thing is fast, and... Once I put more RAM in it, it'll be really good and usable, I mean, for day-to-day -day tasks, because the thing with Linux is it's a much better and more well-optimized operating system than Windows is, as you can see from this computer. So yeah, that's all that needs to be said. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.